We're going to take a look at a few plugins uh, right now, uh, starting with the Waves uh, Maserati series. This is a signature series um, from Tony Maserati. And most of these plugins have multiple uh, effects and compression and uh, just a lot of different features. They really tag these by instrument. So if you want to do a, an acoustic guitar track, which is really what we're, we'll be listening to, there's usually uh, a guitar algorithm, a, a preset. And then uh, if you want to do vocals, there'll be a vocal preset and drums and so on. So they're very valuable. So this is the Tony Maserati acoustic plugin. Notice on this plugin from Eddie Kramer's signature series that this is specifically for guitar. With these plugins, there's a sensitivity control, and it's important to make sure that that sensitivity control is turned up until the light's turning yellow. You don't want to turn it too far up until so it's hitting the red very often, but uh, you do want to make sure that you're hitting the input of these plugins hard enough to take advantage of the compression that would have been recommended. And there are EQ settings recommended and effects settings, and you you can start from um, start from the suggested settings, but everything's in here. Feel free to adjust and and uh, finely craft the sound to fit your own needs. This is a really interesting series from Waves called One Knob. And basically they take one task and assign a knob to it. And this is called the fatter. And it just makes the sound fatter. So um, you turn it up and it, it's, it's a combination of EQ and compression and, uh, you know, band specific compression. And the sound just gets fatter. So it's kind of cool actually. This is a plug-in from the Chris Lord Algae series called Unplugged. Uh, we're starting from a preset, and uh, I'll make a few changes. And it's really, it's really a cool, cool plug-in. It has a lot of room for customization.
this is from Universal Audio, and it's the Trident A range uh, channel. Basically, it's the EQ strip from the uh, Trident A range console. There are several of these from different consoles: Neve, Solid State Logic, Trident, API, and they're really cool. They they do mimic the sound of the original console channel strip. So, if you've worked on these consoles, you'll you'll probably recognize uh, some of the characteristics. You could A B it back and forth, and um, you know, probably probably could uh, tell that it's really pretty close. They model these after specific consoles, so uh, every one of these consoles might be a little different depending on the what shape they're in or if they've had any modifications. So here's the Trident A range EQ. This is the Ozone 5 plugin from Isotope. Isotope is uh, providing a lot of great plugins that have to do with mastering, and, and most of their plugins have multiple uh, components. Uh, the mastering plugins will have a couple different types of compression and EQ and DSing, and, and uh, they're very, very powerful and they sound great. So here's the Ozone 5 plugin. <music> There are several plugins in the Ozone line, um, ranging from the purest of mastering plugins to this one, which is called Trash. And it's basically just a, uh, it's got distorted algorithms. It has all sorts of different sounds uh, that can be applied to, to almost anything. Uh, you know, even just this acoustic guitar running through uh, this Trash plugin can be pretty unique and and uh, it's kind of a, a nice creative tool to have on hand. DSP makes some really nice plugins too, and this is a, a multi-band compressor uh, that is called the MC2000 MC4. They sound great. There are uh, a lot of different types of plugins in their line, and uh, they're all really uh, very useful. Um, and they're Mac specific and really Pro Tools specific.
There are so many plugins that can shape uh, the dynamics and EQ and effects, but some of the plugins that are really valuable also are the metering plugins, like this uh, PAZ analyzer from Waves, and it's a uh, you know it's a frequency uh, analyzer. It's a real time analyzer, so you can tell what the EQ curve of your song is like and you can tell if it's too boomy in the low end or lacking in the high end or kind of honky sounding in the mid-range this helps put real numbers to those terms and also analyzes the stereo spectrum and the meters that are included are a left and right peak meter and the center meter is an average level which really equates more to volume the duro model 380d is a standard tool for most engineers in large studios and it and it simultaneously reads out peak levels and average levels and you can uh, it can also be a phase meter uh, just a very valuable and incredibly accurate meter notice that the peak levels can hold uh, average levels are the the lower levels uh, you can adjust your mix in you can adjust your mix to the point where that average level approaches the peak level a little bit more and will sound louder. Um, just a lot, of, a lot of things you can get out of, out of the Duro meter. That, uh, there's a hardware version from Duro and then this is the Waves version.